Thank you to Flex Seal for sponsoring this video so that we can increase awareness for when severe weather strikes. I made a key for it. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I would like to go in a storm like that. that that's badass. Yes, <laughs> I like it. He's ready. Come on! It's a fuse. I think it's a fuse. <laughs> oh, it's close. It's turning over. And here they are, Dominator 1 and 2, safe and sound in the warehouse, Norman, Oklahoma, where they were invented. And this is where they're going to be overwintering. We're going to bring Dominator 3 in the front of the warehouse here. And I'm going to be repairing Dominator 2 and 1. And the plan is to have the full fleet out chasing tornadoes spring of 2023. The left edge of the tornado appears to have not moved, but this is a dangerous illusion. It's indeed moving at 20 miles an hour. Which is why Reed keeps close tabs on it. And now makes the call to fall back. Note the white building here, with the silver tank in front of it, and the gray silo as well. They disappear into the circulation, as Reed and Andy retreat. Maybe a starter. All the way to my day. We're back here at Team Dominator headquarters. The plan is to get Dominator 1 chasing again. What are you doing right now? Well, trying to get Dom 1 started. Progress is progress, but we need a uh, working battery first. Let it really clear it up. Clear it up nice. Okay. I always do 40 for safety's sake. These are the air cannons of Dominator 1. You have to load a parachute probe in there, miniaturized sensors, and when you're inside the tornado, you hit the launch button, they pop up about 50 feet and fly through the tornado. Now we're here at the car wash in Norman, and we're doing some emergency cleaning here. The engine compartment needed a lot of it, the inside of the Dominator and the outside. 
and we're going to be shooting the first shots in about 10 years with two dominators out in the field at the same time. We got the uh, new air filter, we got the dirty air filter. This is the one from Dominator 1, and you can see why there is a little bit of an overheating problem. The outer windshield wipers of the Dominator 1 would get stuck at the joint of the Lexan windshield where the screws protruded, so we used flex tape to make this joint a little bit more smooth so that the windshield wipers could pass freely over the windshield. Beautiful flex seal fix. Yep, there it is. There it is. Easy fix with flex tape. You want to start Getting the flex off, tape please. out right now. That's perfect. Yep. There you go. There's the flap of the Dominator 1. Very important part. You don't want wind inserting in there during a tornado where the whole thing could go airborne. You know, a lot of people, they like to start their mornings out with coffee. I like to start my mornings out with flex tape. Uh, we are here with Dominator 1. This is Jaden Pappenheim, Brandon Topic here. We're doing a flex tape fix on the side of the Dominator 1. If you get wind that's coming through that gap, the thing could go airborne inside of a tornado. You can see the large base on this storm that's forming. Hail core right behind us. Look at that hail core fill in back there. Getting bigger. There it is. Well, that, look at how milky that is. Probably baseballs in there. Baseballs. You got your jug? I've got my jug. How hot is it at Dominator 1? It's pretty hot. Thank you to Flex Seal for sponsoring this video so that we can increase awareness for when severe weather strikes. 